a blizzard of numbers for you. According to the organizers of the Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona, across four days, there were visitors from more than 202 countries and territories. That's about 88 and a half thousand people. 2,400 exhibitors, partners and sponsors, and more than a thousand keynote speakers. And this, in just one of the halls, eight exhibition halls in total, is the booth from Huawei, stretching as far as the eye can see. And this year, say the organizers, is set to be bigger still. Basically, if you're in the mobile ecosystem, then the MWC is the place to be. And so, sure enough, here is where you'll find Kareem Benkiran. He's the chief commercial officer for the fast-growing Dubai-based telecoms company, Doom. And when we met up earlier, I asked him what he made of it all so far. I think it's, it's an amazing uh, uh, year because I, I see telcos are more and more open to have more partnership and then really uh, more open to uh, an ecosystem to make sure that we can build, I would say, a proposition and products and platforms together and try to uh, compete with, I would say, outside our, our industry. So I think, I think this is amazing. Uh, I see also telcos going beyond the core. So this is uh, quite good success stories there. So um, I'm really proud that we have more than 50% to attend now MWC this year from beyond telco. So uh, this is a, a huge success for our industry. And last year you talked about home wireless and the, the value it can bring, the impact it can have. Is the strategy there still the same? The strategy remained the same. So definitely MWA technology, which is a fixed wireless access, so we design it in a way that we can provide home internet mm -hmm. and making sure that customer can really enjoy the connectivity, even for the segment who's not really served. We are talking about a market where uh, the fiber is everywhere. It's almost 100% fiber, but still with our micro segmentation strategy. So we found out that there are, uh, uh, there are uh, certain sub-segment and niche markets who are not connected. So I think the moment we designed our proposition at the beginning through a 4G uh, technology, so we saw good success. Then with our 5G coverage, we start migrating our customers from 4G to 5G and we start fueling our growth. So I think, I think definitely uh, uh, the home wireless, which is the name, of our product and proposition is really a success story. Well, that's great to hear. And you also, last year, at the tail end of last year, launched what was really the world's first 5.5G or 5G advanced um, sort of uh, demonstration villa. What was the thinking behind that? Look, like Dubai uh, and, and the UAE, they are first on so many things. So, so we uh, at do, so we definitely uh, 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 proud of launching the home of the future. So we enabled the villa in Dubai mm -hmm. with the most advanced technology, which is the 5.5G. So this is a, a more a forward look into the digital lifestyle of our customers. And as you know, in, in the future, uh, uh, the, there will be a lot of applications and, and, and with the, which will enable a new digital lifestyle. We will see uh, 8K video streaming. We will see uh, a naked eye, the 3D type of, of, uh, of, of experience, uh, gaming in 3D experience, uh, VR, AR. So there will be a lot of applications and, and this advanced technology uh, will be required. So we are, we are really proud to be number one, designing the home of the future and enabling the, the, the 5G advanced technology. Well, you've mentioned a few of the things there because I was, for those who are not necessarily so expert, what is that fundamental difference then between the 5.5G and 5G? What, what's the step up? So the, the step up is with the 5.5G, uh, you can uh, have a peak of uh, the uplink and also at the same time a peak of, of latency. So you can have the two things, the uplink and the latency at the same time, while with the 5G, we did not achieve that. And also uh, it will be one gig per, 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 per uh, second type of, of speed, which will really help us to enable all the applications. And then definitely this is halfway to the 6G as well. And the FWA is not obviously just for, for home broadband. We focused on that quite a lot. There are presumably more uh, commercial scenarios in which it could be of use. Just 
are you looking at that sort of side as well? So definitely, so our micro segmentation strategy applied also for the SMEs or the small enterprises and enterprise in general. So we uh, also uh, found certain needs uh, uh, through a, a sub-segmentation approach and we offer the, the office wireless uh, connectivity proposition, which is helping them to really uh, build on it more add-ons and then value added services and then helping the startups to, to scale, to grow and also to start quickly. And as you know, in the UAE, uh, the, the market is, is, is really growing. So the, uh, the leadership in the UAE is really enabling a lot of uh, uh, ecosystems and infrastructure to, to really push the startup market. So what are the challenges and for FWA number one, what are the challenges you're facing? You've talked a lot about the successes, but in the year ahead and years ahead, what are the things you're looking at to overcome to build on that success? So definitely we have the ambition. We would like to, to be a number one uh, FWA. And this is a program uh, which we gave it this name to make sure that we, we can excel in terms of a uh, user experience. Mm. So the, the challenges, I would say, uh, we have an existing customers with an existing traffic, which we need from a technology and network point of view to segregate between mobile data, the, the, this home wireless data, and uh, machine to machine and IoT type of traffic. So we need, we need really to invest more on our technology and platform to make sure that we can segregate. The second challenges we have faced and then the, which we mitigate later with our 5G coverage, we were more outdoor coverage than with the 5G standalone. So we start covering the indoor and you know, with the, the, the fixed wireless access and this home wireless or office wireless experience, it's more indoor coverage, which is required. So I think those are the main uh, challenges and the focus is really to serve the existing customers and improve our NPS.